This ought to be a fun one. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Uh, so Bob and I were just sending a message to uh, someone that works with us, and he was asking us a very specific question about the real money method course that we have. And he was, in, in this message that we were sending him, I realized that I had information that is maybe the biggest money secret I've held back from Bob. <laughs> and I, I said it out loud, and then I was, as I was saying it, I was like, I don't think I've ever told this to Bob. <laughs> and here it comes. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I guess <laughs> let's go back to the story. Let's let them in on what's going on. So, yeah, this is probably going back, I don't know, I'm guessing 12, 14 years at this point. Maybe. Maybe a little. Maybe less. Maybe less. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Whatever. So, <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah. So, we used just about every budgeting. The, okay. The way real money was created and the reason was it, it was created was because we used every single other budgeting method. <laughs> Bob was like, I'm testing it out for the audience. You know, I mean, that's his job, whatever. That's I was fine. was a blogger. Like, that's yeah, what I felt like I had to do. Exactly. And I'm so glad you did. Like, I, yeah, there's no regrets. There's definitely no regrets <laughs> for me. You'll find out why. Uh, but anyway, so that was part of his thing. Well, what ended up happening was that at a certain point – I would get so confused as to what was going on because Bob would set the whole system up. It would be perfect. It would be pretty in this nice little package, but it didn't work past a certain point. So once we accidentally overspent on some of the categories or, you know, some of those things that everybody runs into, um, I couldn't figure it out. I didn't know what to do next. And so I would just toss it back over to Bob and say, this is a mess. Figure it out. I'm out of here. Let me know uh, when it's pretty again, and that's what I can work with. And um, you know, that was that's my level. I, he doesn't mind the mess. He can spreadsheet the whole thing out until it works again. But I was coming up. I was bumping up against too many walls, and once that happened, I just gave up. I was like, I'm out. I'm done. Too many problems. Too right. many broken things. Yeah. Yeah. Too much of a challenge to solve. So so I would just toss that back over to Bob. And almost every time that happened, you would be like, we just have to start over. Like, we have to wipe it clean and start over. Um, and that was the big problem that we had, right? I mean, this is like, if you've heard us talk about this, you probably already know this. But, or if you're in the course, you definitely know this. But what I didn't tell him that just came out in this conversation was that... After a while of him saying, I just have to wipe it clean. We just have to start over. I started to catch on to this. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's what we're going to do. That's what we're doing here. And once I said, this is a mess. I can't fix it anymore. And I would hand the reins back over to him. Because um, I, was, I was really good. And I really am still good at keeping track of the daily spending. Of yeah. like, oh, okay, we went to Target and I'll break it up into the different categories and all that stuff. Um, so, but once I couldn't figure it out anymore and I had to send it back over to Bob, I realized he was probably going to start from scratch. And I was like, hmm, well, I don't actually know how much money is left in there. And he definitely doesn't know. <laughs> and so now so those the gate shoes is open I've been wanting to buy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and so, I mean... Yeah, and I say all this to say, like, I wasn't spending my money on anything that Bob would have disapproved of, right? It was just that once we hit that point, I just was like, oh, I can just buy whatever I want. <laughs> I can buy whatever I want. It really is kind of, it's kind of embarrassing, but this is just a look into the way I just that my mind works. hilarious that I literally just found this out today. <laughs> And we said it while we were leaving a message for, you know, someone else to listen to. So I was kind of like, if we need to talk about this later, you can you can scold me later. But, I mean, I, I think the reason we wanted to share this on here is because I can't be the only one that thinks like this. <laughs> when the cat's away, the mice will no, play. It's it a, is. Yeah, the it, gate's it, open at the zoo. That's, that's exactly what it is. What it, yeah, the like. cage is open and so the monkeys are like, let's go run. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. You're the monkey in this. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine with that. Thing. 
Um, I mean, how does that make you feel? <laughs> Do we need to talk about this? <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, I think... Yeah, I think there's a lot of people who uh, feel this way. And I think this is not an uncommon thing. I, and that's why I wanted to talk about it. Because I, mm-hmm. I, I think it's good. Because I think there's a lot of people listening who have things like this. If not that, things like this. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. For sure. And I think it also is just kind of, this is what our humanity does to us. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like... But I, yeah, there's just a lot here. It's like, this is why we have the budget is to keep us accountable and to keep us from going crazy. Now, that at that particular time in our finances, things were a little bit looser, which is why we were able to afford to have some of those mistakes and not have things so tight. Yeah. You know, it has not always been like that. Yeah. Wasn't like that before. Hasn't been always like that since, you know. There, there was a little bit of extra wiggle room, I feel like, in that uh, time. But I think this is just uh, what happens when you kind of get out of sync, but also when the person who who uh, is not as vigilant with the finances um, just has no boundaries and has no limits. I mean, there, there there's no accountability. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So there, there was a student who just emailed, uh, kind of talking a little bit about he and his wife, their success with using the real money method. And one of the things that he said was we had, like, we were on the same page in terms of our beliefs and what we wanted to do. Mm-hmm. And so we were, we had that, but we didn't have the mechanism yeah, yeah, in yeah. place to keep us on the same page and keep us working together. And that's exactly what that is. Yes. The mechanism kept breaking. And when the mechanism was broken, it's just like in Jurassic my, Park my or whatever. My old tendencies yeah, like, just went back. Jurassic Park is a great analogy because you have the velociraptors or whatever. They keep testing the fences to see if they're electrified. And as uh-huh. soon as they're not, they're not going to climb right. over it. Yeah. And, and that's what it is. The mechanism <laughs> broke down. And that's why we had to go and back wasn't to... wasn't getting electrocuted. So... <laughs> It's like, like, I'm running, I'm running, I'm out. (laughs) And uh, anyway, and so that's what's so beautiful about it is I think it's just the simplest mechanism that we've ever used by far uh, to help us stay on the same page and just stay consistent with it. Yeah. Yeah, because what is that thing? It's uh, what's his name? James Clear says you don't rise to the level of your Uh, goals. Goals. You You fall to the the level level of of your your systems, systems. I believe, yeah. It's a great and quote. That it is a great quote, and that's exactly what this was here. Because I agree. Like I felt like we were on the same page. Um, and when the mechanism stopped working, when the system stopped working, I I I didn't have the willpower. I didn't have the willpower. That's just what it comes down to. Yeah. Yep. And so I mean, there's something really important here, and you know, we obviously would love to serve you with our real money method course you know like for sure but i think the 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 more important point here is find something that is working for both of you if you're married (laughs) or if you're single find something that does work for you that like holds you accountable that keeps keeps the system in place so that you don't go past the boundary um yeah because that is the thing i mean there's a lot of different options uh and this is just what you know, we found to be most effective for us. Right. And there are people who function with other things and get and that, that mechanism really well, yeah. working. And that's great. Like Absolutely. whatever, like use what's going to work for you, whatever's best for you. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, but that is, that is the key. Like mm-hmm. you have to have something that's working because if it's not working, then none of it's working, you know? Yeah. And you're not moving forward financially. And also we could just do a little marriage counseling sesh. Great. Quick. Let's do it. <laughs> We're not marriage counselors, but what I would like to say that I sort of embarrassingly admitted this because I thought it would help the conversation that we were having with this, uh, you know, one yeah. of our team members. But I just would like to thank you for not getting super mad at me and actually <laughs> just knowing me well enough to realize that that's just what human nature is. And it's not because we're against each other. Yeah. So that that made it an environment where I could say that and we could both kind of laugh at it <laughs> because we're realizing my own weakness, right? Like it's not that I'm bragging about it or whatever, but we are realizing <laughs> the 
that I'm weak in this area. Yeah. Um, and that I am open to <laughs> to the accountability and to, you know, making things better because I don't want I'm that's not my intention is to just be like, yeah, I'm gonna go spend all our money. Well, and I think that you But know, that is what I really want to do. <laughs> if I'm being honest. I know, and I think that's why like you've earned so much of my trust over the years with this because I really want to do that and I don't. Yeah, because I've known, I've seen you uh, fight against a natural tendency in order to serve the relationship and serve our mutually agreed upon goals. Yes. I think that's what it is. And so my desire isn't to, you love spending money, like you buy, love buying shoes or clothes or whatever. Whatever, yeah. And my, my desire isn't to squash that in you. Um, I understand it's important to you, so I want to make sure that you get some of that, right. but not to the detriment of our family to where we can't eat or we have no money saved up at all. You know, A hundred percent. And that, I mean, I think that's where we've been able to agree on this is that uh, if you would, were to say, well, I can't give you any money to spend on that, I just wouldn't do it. Like, I, not because I don't love you, but because... <laughs> I just don't think that I could live like that. I think it would turn into a whole lot of fights, a whole yeah. lot of tension. Um, and one of the ways that I, you know, deal with stress and handle stress is by shopping. <laughs> like I just, you know, it's a coping mechanism. But as long as you can understand, okay, she needs a little bit of that money to just go do what she wants with it. I mean, it's just really helpful. I think that's one of the things that has... Um, worked for us really well and i think it's one of the secrets to budgeting that makes it doable for right, a family just having, just having our own spending money right having our yeah. own spending money and i don't know what this will turn into with our kids as they get a little bit older but i imagine we're going to have those limits and those boundaries with them where it's like yeah it is important that you take a ballet class or you know play soccer or whatever the things are and also that you get to well i was going to say go to the movie with your friends but i don't think they do that anymore do they <laughs> That's like something I would have done as a kid, but you know, that they can go out to eat with their friends or whatever the thing may be. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway. All right. So that is my embarrassing secret that I've been hiding from you. I forgot (laughs) that I was hiding it, but I'm glad it's out there now. We're cool. (laughs) Thanks for admitting it publicly. (laughs) Okay, so if you are like me and you've been hiding something like this, it might be a good time to, you know, bring that into the light. And if you're like Bob and you're wondering if this is happening, (laughs) yeah, you could have that conversation. But also um, remember to be very forgiving and... It also, you can you can laugh about this. We're laughing about this. You can laugh about I, I feel it. I feel pretty proud of that. We're laughing about this. Yeah. Yeah. Good job, us. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining us on the Seed Time Money podcast. And remember, money isn't the goal, but it's simply a tool to help you fulfill your purpose and your calling. And we'd love to help you achieve true financial freedom faster with our email newsletter. So if you want exclusive money tips and hope-filled encouragement in your inbox. Head over to seedtime.com to get signed up.